I'm Elon. I'm a high school student in Houston, Texas. I'm an open-minded individual and quite enjoy extracurricular activities at school. One time, my class was informed that they would participate in a community service cleanup session at a local park. Even though I wasn't very excited, being able to run outside was better than having to sit and study, I thought. It was Sunday morning. We arrived at the park at 9 o'clock and were assigned areas to clean. This park has just been built in recent weeks and there are still some areas in the finishing stages. Me, Anna, and Max were assigned to clean up an area with a very large rock. It was high above my head and placed in a small flower garden. I observed the rock and saw that it had a very strange shape. There's also a cross engraved on the stone, but it seems to be upside down. I told Anna and Max, but they didn't pay attention to what I said. I guess I'm no expert in landscaping, I muttered. Ignoring the stone's strange appearance, we started cleaning. Max and Anna pick grass in the flower garden, and I will plant a few new flowers. We do this while chatting about interesting stories at school. As it neared the end, I started to smell a terrible stench. It was really nauseating. Anna and Max also noticed that unpleasant smell. We went around the area we were responsible for to find out the source, but didn't find anything unusual. At the end of the labor session, all of us were told to regroup. My team has thoroughly checked the area we are in charge of, so we are confident that everything is clean. It was probably some dead mice somewhere else, and the wind brought in the stench. We told each other that and happily left. A few days later, we organized a picnic ourselves at the park we cleaned, this time with Ethan and Mary. Returning to the flower garden the other day, we were happy because the newly planted flower trees were lush. My friends and I spread out the carpet next to it, ate together, chatted, and took pictures. About 15 minutes later, it suddenly started to rain. We quickly packed up our things and ran to a nearby shack to shelter from the rain. Where we were standing outside the rock, a brown liquid began flowing out. The stench rose again. This time it was much worse. We were stunned to see that strange thing and looked at each other, confusing and scared. About 20 minutes later, the rain stopped. Me, Max, and Ethan came closer for a better look. Mary and Anna fearfully huddled in the shack. Even though I was scared, a feeling of curiosity was taking over me. Reaching out to brush a few flower plants next to the rock away, a feeling of dizziness immediately hits me. I saw human fingers crushed under the stone and they were decomposing. I scream out in fear, almost to a panic attack, crawled out to yell at my friends to quickly call the police. The police arrived and immediately searched the scene. Max and I stayed behind to give our statements to the police, while Ethan took Anna and Mary home first because they were so panicked. The police found out that there was a body crushed underneath and immediately sent the tow to move the stone away. Seeing the entire scene unfold, I was shocked to the core by the corpse underneath. The body was no longer in one piece. It was decomposing. The stench and sight was horrifying to witness. The police thanked Max and I for the cooperation, then told us to go home first. Maybe during construction, the stone was placed in a different position and collapsed over the poor worker while he was inspecting the project. So my feeling about the stone's strange position is correct. The man's body was processed and returned to his family. That stone was later demolished by the park management board and a flower garden was planted in its place. To this day, that scene still haunts me. Extracurriculars now brings me the dreads. I always imagined that I would discover another terrible thing around there.